The people of Minnesota are accustomed to cold weather and plenty of snow, but even they were unprepared for the size and power of the blizzard that hit over the weekend. Liz Collin of our Minneapolis station, WCCO-TV, is there with the latest. Liz, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Some are calling this snowmageddon. Others describe it as the mother of all storms. Either way, though, here, everyone agrees it's been a long, long time since a winter storm this powerful hit the Twin Cities. A monster snowstorm shocked Minneapolis, dumping 17 inches of snow in 18 hours, bringing whiteout conditions, closing roads, and creating snow drifts five feet high. At one point, it closed a 150-plus mile stretch of Interstate 90. It was the fifth biggest snowfall in the city's history. Workers tried to remove nearly two feet of snow from the roof of the Metrodome, home of the Vikings. But captured in this dramatic video, the sports stadium's massive nine and a half acre inflatable roof caved in and burst open, pouring snow onto the field. No one was injured. We had uh, three roof panels rupture, uh, providing for deflation of the roof. The collapse canceled Sunday's Vikings game against the New York Giants, who were unable to get there anyway because the Minneapolis airport was shut down for the first time in 19 years. The game will now be played on Monday in Detroit. With temperatures hovering in the single digits, Minnesotans are just trying to keep up with one of the biggest blizzards in history. I've been shoveling almost every hour on hour. Oh. The last time the dome deflated due to snow was in 1983, and back then it took four days to fix. Now, originally we thought postponing this game would be good news for Vikings quarterback Brett Favre, but we just learned this morning in an interview, it says that it looks unlikely that he will play. Of course, he suffered a shoulder injury in last week's game, and Harry, that will likely end his incredible 297 consecutive NFL game start streak. Wow, Liz, thank you very much, and they've got to get the Metrodome ready for a Monday night game next week, so lots to do there. Thank you very, very much.